Welcome to the fifth and final video of the PPD-1 reception data entry. Today we're going to be talking about DEA numbers. So a DEA number is a nine character long, includes two letters and seven digits. So let's break it down and see what this really means. The first letter is going to be an A or a B for a prescriber or a dispenser, an M for a mid-level practitioner, such as a PA or a nurse practitioner, and then a P if they're a distributor. So that's what the first letter depicts. The second letter is going to be the first initial of the practitioner's last name. As you can see here, we have a J for Jones. And then let's break down the numbers. So how do you do a DEA check? You're going to add in order here, one, three, and five from the DEA. And that gives you 16. You're also going to add digits 2, 4, excuse me, and 6. So 2, 4, and 6. Multiply that by 2, and that gives you 22, because this would be 11 times 2. Then you add these two numbers that you just got together, and it will give you a certain number that the last digit should match the last digit of the, the DEA. That's how you know that the DEA is valid. So this can be helpful in checking for fake prescriptions. Another thing to remember is if you ever see an X here instead of an A, B, M, or P, that some doctors and medications require specific prescribing rights. So some doctors will actually have an X but they'll also have a DEA that start a normal DEA that starts with one, you know, an A, B, or M, but they'll also have a separate DEA that starts with an X. And a common example is for Suboxone, which they have to have separate prescribing rights. So that's all for today and the DEA numbers. So thank you, and this concludes the data entry and reception videos.